Hello, people of God. You are welcome to Kingdom Salmon TV. We are independent people. We share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman, in order to help to build the body of Christ. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. Shadabele de bakata pro sabene ke parunda sebele atash Grete balasho bratu zevene ke paruya sebele katabri ande gede bas Someone full of faith is praying Someone full of expectation is praying He ma shabe laku sabaranta prane ke te balaku ziata bash Grete berente fraske balandu ziata he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Kai bana shabalanda baraka sabra dege belegadash. Shabre betashi lega baronto sobre di balakusia dash. Pray, let it be from the depth of your heart. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. One more prayer point. Father, give me a definite encounter tonight. A definite encounter. Don't be silent. Don't be unserious and don't be careless. Give me a definite encounter tonight. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Give me a definite encounter tonight. Appear unto me by your word again tonight. Take away that limitation from my life. Someone is praying. Everywhere, make sure you are praying. Koinonia Global, make sure you are praying. Abarazo beke paradu sebeneke paragashi belekatia. Someone is praying. Pray. Pray. Sabrada balaka paranda karato sabrada gadabala. Pray in the spirit. Time to rise in the spirit. Time to rise in the spirit. Time to take territory. Salabaka parato sabra sabala kata. Raka kata prada gada parato siada. The spirit of laziness cause the spirit of prayerlessness laxity studying the word cause that spirit Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Please listen to me. Listen to me. I want us to pray. You are going to stretch your hand across any direction and begin to speak the spirit over this region. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we decree and declare. We are praying over America. We are praying over Cambridge. Praying over Boston. Praying over Massachusetts. We are praying. Come on. Make decrees. Make decrees. Make decrees by the spirit. We decree and declare over the spiritual climate. 
every operation of demon spirits, every operation of familiar spirits, we dethrone spirits, we dethrone orchestrations of darkness, arsenals of darkness, fighting the prophetic destiny of God's people, fighting the prophetic destiny of the church. We curse you by the blood of the eternal covenant. You're making decrees. You're making decrees. You're making decrees. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. You're making decrees. You're making decrees. You're making decrees. You're making decrees. Sabaka parakato sabranda kata, rakata prate ke palako sabras keba, krapa rekato sabakariata. You're making decrees. You're making decrees. You're making decrees by the power of the Holy Ghost. You're making decrees. You're making decrees by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. You are going to pray for yourself now. Some of you will marvel at what will begin to happen to you when you pray. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father. Now listen. Jesus gave a parable and he said the sower came and sowed wheat. But while men slept, a stranger came and sowed something too. So you went to bed down and you got up having traces of cancer. Someone has come to sow something. You are going to pray right now. If your body as the house of God is not a house of prayer, it will be a den of robbers. Did you hear what I said? If your body as the temple of the Lord Jesus Christ is not a house of prayer, it will be a den of robbers. You are going to pray that every orchestration of darkness against my life, by the eternal, the blood of the eternal covenant, I come against it now. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray. Make faith declarations. Hey, heal, anointed, bless. Every orchestration of witchcraft, every diabolic operations of darkness, I come against it in the name of Jesus, spying upon my liberty, frustrating the manifestation of the word of God over my life and destiny. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Please look at me. Please look at me. You see, every activity of witchcraft works in partnership with elemental forces. So the Bible says the sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Not a spirit, the sun, the moon. Your Bible says the stars fought for Deborah. Is that in your Bible? You see, Job said God will deliver you from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. He says in famine you will laugh because you have a covenant with the stones. The covenant with the stones. You know what that means? That means the earth should not fight you. Huh? Yes. The wind should not fight you. The elemental forces should partner with your progress, not to destroy you. That means anyone who makes enchantments, 
in fraternity with any of these elemental forces, it should be null and void. Because you were given dominion even over the earth. You believe that? The stars fought for Deborah. That you can forbid the earth from fraternizing with demon spirits to destroy the program of God. No. No enchantment and no divination. No. It should not stand. Are we together? Now I want to pray for you. We have to work with time. I'm going to receive your request shortly, but I want to pray for you. There are many of you here you may not know that the happenings and the occurrences around your life, negatively speaking, are demonic. He says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, I saw four horns. He says, These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Israel, and against Jerusalem. Judah talks of your praise. Israel talks of your promise. Jerusalem talks of um, your covenant. Lifted themselves. He says, But I have sent four carpenters. Are we together? Many of you embargoes of disfavor. You are a lovely person and yet people hate you for no reason. Some of you are suffering from all kinds of addictions. Some of you are suffering from depression. I don't know if it works. I was told we have that also in the US or in Europe. I mean, these young people, mental health, they are almost becoming like madmen as young people. You find a young... Do you have it here? You think that is just a psychological problem? It is an onslaught of demon spirits to capture a generation and render them intellectually redundant. It's an agenda. It's not just a psychological phenomenon. Now, I don't downplay the intelligence and the contributions of psychology and all kinds of programs. I don't downplay, but I'm telling you, the real solution is that this, when a man was mad, Jesus drove a spirit from him. And the Bible says the man sat with Jesus in his right mind. When your mind is wrong, it's a spirit that made it wrong. An intelligent God would not design stupid people who behave and misbehave and do all kinds of things. No, it's a demonic thing. So if your child is suffering any of this, I'm encouraging you now that you have a responsibility to intercede. They are spirits. Young people just shooting themselves, killing themselves. No, it's not normal. People get depressed, they just write letters and hang themselves. You call that normal? Something is wrong. But I want to pray for you now That everything that is inconsistent With the workings of God in your life huh? I want to pray You believe in the power of prayer? Thank you Jesus Father I stretch my hands Right now Every man Every woman here represented my God I just sent such glory The anointing will be resting on many of you Right now as I speak the Lord is speaking to me that there are some of you He's raising as saviors for your family. I'm seeing the number seven. That anointing is coming on you now. Seven of you, in the name of Jesus, let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Please, I want you to bring out those people for me. Whether or not you are an author, if I ask you, just bring them out. There's a reason why I ask you. Just bring them. I want to speak a word of prayer. Seven. This is the number I see in the Spirit. Now, the Lord is showing me a lady. There's been a prevalent oppression of witchcraft in your family. And the Lord is asking me to pray. As I pray for you now, you're going to feel literally like fire, just burning. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit and that demonic influence, let that lady and her family go now. Let that lady help her. Let that lady and her family go now. Let that lady and her family go now. 
There's a reason why I ask that these people under the anointing be brought. Let that lady and her family go now. The Lord is showing you a lady, your family has been plagued with sicknesses and diseases. People just, it's been a trend. The power of God is coming upon you right now as you are listening to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you and bring to end every oppression. Bring to end every oppression. Bring to end every oppression. I'm hearing in the spirit, someone is going to shout under the anointing. It's a loud shout. This is by the Spirit of God. Why? Do... I curse every spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Curse every spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I curse every spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Release God's people now. time for you to enjoy the liberty that is in Christ. The Bible says, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Now I want to pray for a set of people. There are some of you who are called into the ministry of prophetic intercession. The hand of God is coming upon you now. There is a fire. Help them. Prophetic intercessors. I release that mantle. I release that mantle. I release our Kapaskote Parusia. Help them. Hold that woman so she doesn't destroy herself. Hold her. Prophetic intercessors. I release you now. Step into that mantle. Step into that anointing. The spirit of prayer and supplication. The spirit of prayer and supplication. I release that anointing upon you now. In the name of Jesus. Can you hold the woman so she doesn't hit anything? My friend, please, someone just hold her. She'll hit the television or something. Please, always hold them, huh? Hallelujah. God is restoring dreams and visions. God is restoring dreams and visions. God is speaking to someone. Restoring dreams and visions. Receive that grace right now. Restoring dreams and visions. You will begin to have prophetic dreams. Encounters in your sleep. You will see things before they happen. You will see things before they happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. God is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the vision of a door and that door has a padlock on it and the Lord is saying this represents the destiny of many people it's been shut I want to open it by the power of prophecy every door that has been closed over your life I speak to that door Ephata be open 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 doors be open financial doors be open marital doors be open career doors be open in the name of jesus be open be open hallelujah we're wrapping up I'm hearing in my spirit restoration. Restoration. I cast that spirit right now. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. I'm hearing in my spirit restoration. And I'm hearing I will restore. I don't know what you've lost. Relationships, money, by the power of prophecy. Receive restoration. Receive restoration. Receive restoration. Receive restoration in the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone now, not to offend you, but your father practiced some kind of occultism. You know, some of these religions that people just conjure things 
and he practiced a lot of occultism while you were growing up and the Lord wants to set you free from the influence of that thing because till today you go to bed and you still find out interactions with strange and familiar spirits in the name that is above all names I don't know where that person is but be set free now you are the man you your father my God before he died in the name of Jesus you are a great man of God I pray for you everything that has come as a result of that by the message of God be set free right now be set free right now in the name of Jesus be set free right now the Lord is raising teachers of the word there is a mantle that is about to fall upon you you will understand scripture with a level of intelligence that is not human i don't know how many of those people are here but i release that grace receive it now that teacher mantle receive it now prophetic revealers of scripture receive it right now in the name of jesus In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and mention everything you want the Lord to do in your life. While that is happening, can we have some ushers begin to collate the prayer requests? Do you have that already? Okay, please bring them forward quickly. While... Okay, pass it to the aisle. Everyone, lift your prayer request while you are praying. Please, let's pray. All those online, you're following, make sure you're participating in the prayer. Just pass your request to the aisle, left or right. Please, someone help coordinate it. So let's have one person. Just pass it to the last person by your left or right. That's, that's what I'm saying. Pass it to the last person by your left or right. Let there be someone who is just receiving them. Some of you can help. Just receive it so that um, you put it in a basket. Those who have the basket, just lift it and let the people know you are there. Let's do that very fast while you pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. I'm on my way to better day. I'm on my way to better day. Hallelujah. Go ahead. It's a new season for you. A new prophetic season. We are going to be praying. Don't worry, you can put one basket. Yes, just leave one. You don't have to bring it out, Mona. Just put everything in one. You get what I'm saying? Yes, so everything in one and then you bring it here. We're praying. Make sure, are you... If you are yet to submit your request, just lift it up so that the ushers can help you. Let's do that very fast. Please help them, ushers, very fast, very fast. Very fast. How many of you believe in the favor of God? Ah, please believe in the favor of God. Can I release that grace upon you? Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Favor. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over everyone here. Let the mantle, the grace that makes for favor, let it rest upon you now. Shout a believing amen. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon your family, your children, your spouse. Let favor speak over your academics in the name of Jesus. Do we have the request? Please, very quickly. Now, everyone, please stretch your hands towards me. Don't worry. Just, just leave the basket. Okay, beautiful. So just bring... Yeah. Please, everyone, stretch your hands and pray in the Spirit. Connecting from across the nations of the earth. If you sent in your prayer request, then have no fear. We already have it here. And we are going to be agreeing. I'll be releasing miracles from this place to the nations of the earth. Cambridge, Boston, 
any other part in America and across the nations of the earth. I believe in a miracle working God. Do we have all the requests? Anyone left? Okay, there's one very quickly. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands. Yes, you are. those of you who follow our ministry, our ministry, I have seen God move over this request. I have seen phenomenal manifestations of His power. You know why we collect requests like this? It is not because you cannot pray to the Lord as an individual, but there is something called the covenant of answered prayer. And I'm here to release my faith with you. Some of you have prayed, you have fasted over issues. Your prayer request here is the most accurate representation of your desires. And in Mark chapter 11 and verse 24, the Bible says, What things soever ye desire. He said, when ye pray. Okay, so here's what will happen. Once we are done with the prayer, please make sure that um, you return all of this so someone I know there was a phone here so that we don't misplace and so let's have someone who would handle them if any electronic uh, gadget was dropped here please make sure that it gets to the people so that we don't have um... hallelujah now I'm going to bow my knees you don't kneel I'll do the kneeling for you Paul prayed over the church in Ephesus and he bowed his knees to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ and began to make petition. I just spoke about the power of prophetic intercession. While I'm praying for you, all I want you to do is to stretch your hands and to receive by faith as you are praying in the Spirit. Afterwards, I'll make prophetic declarations and then we'll begin to wrap up. I want you to have testimonies. I want that yesterday and today that you will testify for the remaining part of this year. Hallelujah. Because God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Are you ready now? Stretch your hands while you pray in the spirit and I'll bow my knees as I pray. Thank you Jesus. And for all of you who are connecting by internet, watching on Koinonia Global, I want you to believe, release your faith right now in the name of Jesus. Miracles are about to happen. The spirit of grace is about to visit people, families, territories, communities. Shabaros kata frande balako sata brest lika pereko tashala gregevos lem prakata parato sata brest kepeleka paruziata embrata sosa meleke paruzga tebalash lekra pata karato sata brege peleka tariata. Father, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands over this request and I pray by the power that is in the name of Jesus and based on the authority of scripture let there be miracles in the name of Jesus 
let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus may the Lord reverse impossible situations may the Lord give you testimonies for someone perhaps yours is for the healing of your loved one we release that healing right now we release the jobs right now in the name of Jesus Father by the power of the Holy Spirit I prophesy upon your people that these Egyptians you see today that you will see them no more forever 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 in the name of Jesus you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever by the power of the Holy Ghost you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever I prophesy you will see them no more forever listen for some of you the answers to this prayer require the ministry of destiny helpers I decree and declare whoever has been anointed to rise up and help you I gravitate them towards your destiny in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus for someone here I avert the spirit of death shout a believing Amen I forbid the waster from coming to your home coming to your children coming to your business in the name of Jesus and for everyone who has cried here as a result of something you've lost I prophesy to you in the name that is above all names may my God restore may my God restore may my God restore in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now I want us together as a family of faith I want us to pray for Harvard University hallelujah I know that there are many other institutions around but particularly I want us to pray for Harvard University Lord restore that fire the fire and the grace are we together the spirituality upon which Harvard was built we pray that God who is a covenant keeping God let there be restoration go ahead and pray pray for all the schools pray for your professors your lecturers go ahead and pray let there be a restoration let there be a restoration it will not just be a center of secular learning but it will be a place of revival a place of encounters God will raise mighty men mighty women in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same hold on let me pray you've touched this grace your life is changed hallelujah as i'm speaking to you now i already know what the lord has put in my heart to sow to because the lord does not change when you become blessed i would be i would be a hypocrite if i stand here as a preacher and i stay to sow and then i don't do it myself now do you believe in what we are doing take a minute and begin to cry to the Lord the dimensions to desire to step in especially in the area of your business or finances go ahead please go ahead and pray pray holding your seed in your hand <laughs> 
Seimas talans ta prages ka lika prahas ka valanda ka riata. It is an ordinance. It is a principle. Sacrifice. The money you are holding is a representation of your value, your desire, your productivity. Take a minute and pray. Someone pray. Someone who is in debt right now, who needs to come out of it. A man of God who is trusting God for help, trusting God for partnership. When you sacrifice before the Lord, money is not the only thing that returns to you. God is able to give your seed another body. Please pray. We are wrapping up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, this is what I want you to do. Whether you are kneeling or standing in any position that is comfortable, I want to make prophetic declarations over you. Please listen to me. God sent me here. And I want you to believe it. As I speak over your life, the prophetic is revelatory. But the most superior dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension. It doesn't just reveal. It makes happen what has no business happening. By this time, he said, tomorrow. He was not revealing what would have happened. It was that prophetic word that made that event happen. Some of you, by reason of this prophetic word, even before the evening session, you will return back with strange manifestations. How does God bless men? Through the ministry of men. Simple. There is no mystery around it. It is men God will use to bless you. Good measure, he says. Press down. Shaken together. Running over. Shall men give. It always comes from God. But it comes through men to men. There is no haziness. There is no confusion as to why, how God lives. Listen to me. The money you are looking for today is in somebody's account right now. It's not in heaven. The opportunity, the property, the access, whatever it is you are looking for, there are current possessors of it right now on earth. The assignment is that the favor of God will compel events and compel people to gravitate that which is your portion and bring it to you. Are you ready to receive? Please rise up with faith. When I speak over your life, I'm going to plead that His Eminence will come and make prophetic declarations from the depth of His Spirit. As a man of God and as a father of and over this land, it's an ordinance that God honors. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand as one sent by you. By the privilege of this conference, I have come to speak over your people. I have taught them truth as revealed in scripture. My God and my King, I pray right now upon everyone who is under the sound of my voice. I decree and declare everything that looks like a negative cloud over your finances, over your business, over your ministry. By reason of this sacrifice, I command it to give way now. I command it to give way now. I call on heaven to be a witness to what you are doing. Honor to God and honor to this grace. Therefore, I decree and declare. I call upon Ebenezer, the one who helps men, the one who helped Uzziah until he was marvelously helped. I call upon Ebenezer. May he begin to help you from today. May my God begin to help you from today. May the God of my covenant begin to help you from today. Man of God, by reason of this sacrifice, may God give you strength, visibility in ministry. Strange visibility in business. Strange visibility in career. Every door that has been closed 
towards your business. I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I speak to that door. A barter be open. A barter be open. A barter be open. Hear me. Anyone here in debt, you are owing and bills are on your neck. It doesn't matter how you got there. I call upon the God of all grace. I taught you about the nature of God yesterday. In the name that is above all names, may God lift you in a way that surprises you. Do you believe what you are receiving? Now look up please. Listen. The anointing that makes for wealth and abundance comes upon three dimensions of your life. Please listen. The first area where the anointing to prosper rests upon is your head. Representing your mind. Please listen. When the anointing to prosper comes, it rests upon your mind. It is responsible for creativity, intelligence. Are we together now? Because your mind is one of the tools that programs wealth and abundance in your life. So the anointing of the spirit, Elihu said, there is a spirit in man, and the breath of the Almighty maketh men of understanding. When the anointing to prosper comes, this is how it works, I'm teaching you. It rests upon your mind, giving you supernatural illumination, that you now begin to see things that others do not see. Number two, it rests upon your hands. Your hand is your weapon of productivity. The Bible says God will bless the works not of your feet, the works not of your mind, the works of your hands. When your mind is blessed and your hands are not blessed, you will have creative ideas, witty inventions, help those under the anointing. And yet the power to execute will not be there. So the anointing to prosper rests upon your hand, empowering you to be circumspect. Extraordinary productivity, services, bringing value with excellence. The Bible says, O oh Lord our God, how excellent is your name. It is the assignment of your hand to make your brand or your name excellent. Number three, the third area where the anointing to prosper rests upon is upon your feet, bringing you direction and guidance. You can be productive to a wrong audience productive to a wrong place there are many people right now your problem is location wrong place wrong people are we together yes thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it and you will find rest for your soul there are people by reason of what you are receiving you will receive guidance direction you are in Ghana and God will tell you that business in America, that is the one that prospers you. That opportunity. Listen, if you get your way through the journey of wealth, you will be a product of scammers. A father did to pair this night. So, so I, I open up my spirit. Do go on a screen to receive. For so, so this night, so, so I, I declare, Je declare that I rise in the spirit. Every anointing, tout onction, every grace, tout grace that must rest on my destiny. I prepare to receive it now. Go ahead and begin to pray. Go ahead and begin to pray from the depths of your heart. Commence à prier. Priez, 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 priez. Go ahead and pray. Priez, 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 priez. Pray, 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 pray. Priez, 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 priez,
Go ahead and pray. 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 Let tonight be a night of encounter for you. Que ce soir soit une soirée d'expérience. Every mantle, every grace, mantle, every dimension in the spirit, toutes les dimensions de l'esprit that needs to rest upon my life and destiny. Qui doit demeurer sur ma vie et ma destinée. Let it rest. Someone is praying. Que quelqu'un prie ce soir. Go ahead and pray. Priye. Go ahead and pray. Priye. Go ahead and pray. Priye. Those following online. Step back. Those following online. Priye. By television, internet. Ceux-là qui sont en ligne, make sure you join us as we pray. Il faut prier avec nous, prier avec nous. Vous qui êtes en ligne, priez avec nous aussi. Masaka bakata brade bosakaya. Le priados. A few more minutes. Pray. Two minutes encore. Priez. Katapat katapat la katapat. Priez, priez. Katapat branta katapat. Priez, priez. Priez. Katapat katapat la katapat. Priez, priez. Priez, priez. Priez, priez. Katapat for in Jesus' name we pray. C'est au nom de Jésus que nous avons prié. In Jesus' name we pray. Au nom de Jésus nous avons prié. This is a night you will not forget in a hurry. Cette soirée est une soirée que vous n'êtes pas si peu d'oublier. Out of my belly shall flow rivers. De mon sein couleront rivers of living water. Les fleuves de Shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Out of your belly will flow rivers, rivers of living water. You are chanting in the spirit.
Meleke palake parato sabrate belade belak adabas. Hai das talan das kapras kabeles kabres kabeles. Rata kete bade kete pakata paras kapalato. Ia baranda kapras kabalake bereto siata. Sala barada balara. Hello, Madonna. Hello, him. Hello, him, Madonna. Shortly, but listen. Vous allez vous asseoir dans quelques instants, mais écoutez d'abord. Alléluia. Alléluia. There are many young men and women in this place tonight. Il y a plusieurs jeunes hommes et jeunes femmes en ce lieu ce soir. You have fasted and you have prayed. Vous avez jeûné et vous avez prié. You represent the next prophetic move here. Vous représentez le mouvement prophétique des prochaines années. And the Lord brought you to this place tonight. Et le Seigneur vous a envoyé en ce lieu ce soir. Because there is a grace that must rest upon your destiny. Parce qu'il y a une grâce qui doit être déposée sur votre vie. Alleluia. Alleluia. And before we sit et avant de nous asseoir, I want to release that grace upon someone. Je veux relâcher cette grâce sur quelqu'un. Please, aside from the stage where the men of God are, à part la section où les hommes de Dieu sont, if I ask you to bring those under the anointing out, si je vous demande de faire venir ceux qui sont sous l'onction, please do not, don't tamper with this place. Faites les venir devant, mais il ne faut pas obstruer là où les hommes de Dieu sont. Father, bear every grace, habakata balabosia, that must rest upon your people. Toutes les grâces qui doivent demeurer sur votre peuple. Everyone, call it to the prophet. Prophetic and the apostolic. Do the all of your prophetic right prophetic. now, wherever you are. Maintenant, là où vous Let that êtes. fire rest on you now. Let that fire rest on you now. Let that fire rest on you now. Let that fire rest on you now. Please bring them out. Let them be near the wall. There are mighty prophets that will rise from this nation. He had a prophet. Hear what I'm saying. He had a prophet. Some of you may be ordinary. He saw the hand of the Lord. You may not be resting upon your life tonight. Yes, he had an option to have any issue with us. A mantle, a mantle, a mantle, a mantle, an anointing. You know, a mantle, a mantle, an anointing. You know, an anointing. You know, it's coming upon you. Yes, you know, an anointing. You know, where are the Elijahs? 
Who saw the Eli? Where are the Elijahs? Who saw the Eli? Where are the Deborahs? Who saw the Deborahs? Where are the Gideons? Who saw the Gideons? May that man to locate you now. The Senor Babu of Kalide Mesero. It will be men and women. Ce seront des hommes et des femmes, not just men. Pas seulement des hommes. Men and women, des hommes et des femmes, working in power. Qui travaillent dans, avec dans la puissance. Men and women, qui opèrent dans la puissance. Working in wisdom, des hommes et des femmes qui opèrent dans la sagesse. Men and des women, des hommes et des femmes, working in prosperity. Qui opèrent dans la prospérité. Men and women, des hommes et des femmes, rising to positions of leadership. Qui se lèvent à des positions de leadership. I announce to Côte d'Ivoire. J'annonce à la Côte I announce to the Francophone nation, I announce on a new wave of revival is coming. A new wave of revival is coming. A new wave of revival is coming. And apostolic and prophetic revival. I will say apostolic and prophetic. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now listen to me. Écoutez s'il vous plaît. Allah na matakobati. Merci Seigneur. Let me have your attention. Accordez-moi votre attention. A few months ago, il y a quelques mois, I was preparing for service back home. J'étais en train de me préparer pour un culte à, à, chez moi dans mon pays. And the glory of God, the glory of God, et la gloire de Dieu. Came and rested in my room. Est venu reposer dans ma chambre. I began to shake under the anointing. Et j'ai commencé à trembler sous l'onction. And every time that happens to me, et chaque fois que cela m'arrive, the Spirit of God wants to put something through my spirit. L'esprit de Dieu veut vraiment me propulser. And I carried my guitar. Et donc j'ai pris ma guitare. And by the Spirit, I began to play a song. Et par l'esprit, j'ai commencé à composer un chant qui est not right. Un chant que je n'avais pas écrit. And that song has become an anthem of revival. Et ce chant est devenu une that hymne song has de become a desire. Ce chant est devenu un désir. Est devenu une spirit. Est devenu une échelle dans l'esprit. I want to sing that song right now. Et je veux chanter ce chant maintenant. And I want you to listen to me. Et je veux que vous m'écoutiez. I am not a musician. Je ne suis pas un musicien. It is not a special number. Ce n'est pas une composition spéciale. What you are hearing is a ladder. Ce que vous allez entendre, c'est une échelle. Alléluia. Alléluia. My apologies for those who may not understand English. Mes excuses à ceux qui ne comprennent pas anglais. I'm sure that sometime, even if not now, je sais que dans l'avenir, même si c'est pas maintenant, we translate the song or your people will find a French version of the song. Le chant sera traduit ou alors vous allez trouver une version française. Du But the song says. Mais le chant dit. It says, "Breathe upon my life." That is, souffle sur ma vie. It's a desperate cry. C'est un cri de 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 faim, de, de the breath of God. C'est le cri d'un assoiffé qui recherche le souffle de Dieu. You are asking the breath of God to rest upon your life. Vous demandez que le souffle de vie repose sur votre vie. Le souffle de Dieu repose sur votre vie. The Bible says, "When God breathed into man," la Bible dit que Dieu souffla en l'homme. A lifeless man became. Et un homme qui n'avait pas de vie est devenu une âme vivante. In Ezekiel chapter 37, in Ezekiel chapter 37, he says, "Son of man, he did this to Lord, and his bones live again." Just a man who still lives at nouveau, and he said, "And he prophesied to the four winds, prophesied to the four winds, and he said, 'All winds, and he, O God, breathe upon this place, souffle sur ces deux hommes.'" And the Bible says. La Bible dit qu'il a rose, il se sont levés en exceding great army, et c'était une grande armée. Breathe, Lord, souffle, breathe, Seigneur. Breathe, Lord, souffle, breathe, Seigneur. Breathe upon my life, souffle sur ma vie. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, souffle, breathe. Seigneur. Breathe, 
your power, that be so stern, your wisdom, it does digest and till the nation, this has been a nasty austin Jesus, why should you lift it up, elevate, exalt, exalt, I I receive the worst one, and it shall be my best one. Your power, that we saw, and your wisdom, it does digest the children, this has been an astial, see Jesus, why does you lift that up, enemy, glorify, it's not a gift, Écoutez, when the breath of God comes upon a man, lorsque le souffle de Dieu vient sur un homme, when the breath of God comes upon a business, lorsque le souffle de Dieu vient sur une entreprise, when the breath of God comes upon a ministry, lorsque le souffle de Dieu vient sur un ministère, when the breath of God comes upon a family, lorsque le souffle de Dieu vient sur une famille, when the breath of God comes upon a nation, ou lorsque le souffle de Dieu vient sur une nation, everything that may have died, tout ce qui était mort, will always come back to life. Revient toujours à la vie. Alléluia. Alléluia. Now for all those who are in front. Maintenant pour tous ceux qui sont devant là, there is a reason why I ask to bring them out. Il y a une raison pour laquelle je vous ai demandé de les faire venir. In the name that is above all names. Dans le nom qui est au-dessus de tout autre nom. This grace and this ignition that has come upon. Cette grâce et cette may it turn you to signs and wonders. Cette activation là, qu'elle fasse de vous des signes de prodiges. May it turn you to signs and wonders. Qu'elle fasse de vous des signes de prodiges. I impart grace on you. La grâce sur vous. I impart grace upon you. Je relâche la grâce sur vous. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus Christ. Can we be seated for one minute? Please Let's sit down. Vous pouvez vous rasseoir une minute, s'il vous plaît. The Lord is asking me to prophesy to a lady. Le Seigneur me demande de prophétiser à une femme. No one has risen in your family. Personne n'a jamais eu d'ascension dans ta famille. There is a force that brings people down. Il y a comme une force qui rabaisse les gens. But right now, while I speak, mais pendant que je parle, the power of God is coming upon that lady. Yes, you said, Pam, maintenant, on behalf of your family, au nom de ta famille, help her, please. Aidez-la, s'il vous plaît. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that your is broken now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman here. Il y a un jeune homme ici. Your father died. Ton père est décédé. But he was a pastor. He was in ministry. Il était pasteur. Il était dans le ministère. But today he's gone to be with the Lord. Mais il n'est plus. Il est avec le Seigneur. The Lord is asking me to tell you. Le Seigneur me dit de te dire that the mantle that was upon your father que le manteau qui était sur ton père is resting upon you now. Demeure sur toi maintenant. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. I do not know where that gentleman is. Je ne sais pas où ce jeune homme se trouve. But may that grace rest upon you. Mais que cette grâce demeure sur toi. That what your father could not do in the ministry. Ton père n'a pas pu faire dans le ministère. Attention doucement. In the name of Jesus Christ, au nom de Jésus Christ, you will do greater things, greater dimensions. Tu feras de plus grandes choses dans une plus grande dimension. In the name of Jesus, au nom de Jésus. The Lord is showing me a woman here. Le Seigneur me montre une femme ici. You work with a telecommunication company. Tu travailles dans une société de télécommunication. Telecommunication company. Une société de télécommunication. 
And the Lord is telling me el Señor me dit, that an, an anointing is coming upon you. Il y a une onction qui vient sur toi. You are going to begin your own company. Et tu vas démarrer ta propre entreprise. And within one year, et au bout d'un an, the way the Lord is going to move you, it will surprise you. La façon dont le Seigneur va agir va te surprendre. Because I'm still in my vision. Parce que je vois en vision. And I'm still a new telecommunication company coming et, to Côte d'Ivoire. Et je vois une nouvelle société de télécommunication qui vient en Côte d'Ivoire. This is not a network, a phone network that you will have now. Ce n'est pas un réseau téléphonique que vous avez déjà. A new company coming. Il y a une nouvelle société qui va venir. Just like you have in Nigeria, MTN, Airtel, and so on and so forth. And that lady in question, et la dame en question, God will use it as a springboard to lift you. Dieu va utiliser cela comme une planche de décollage pour toi. Do you believe what you are hearing? Est-ce que vous croyez ce que vous entendez? I've been hearing a name. J'entends le nom. John. J O H N, I believe. John. J'entends le nom John. Who is John? Qui est John? There is a mighty anointing. Il y a une onction puissante. What do you do? What does he Qu'est-ce que vous faites dans la vie? Are you are you a man of God? Is he? Are you a man of God? Yes. You have a church? Oh, you serve within the ministry. Oh, Let me tell you, my friend. I want you to be faithful. There Let's is a mighty anointing. Let's watch it. You believe what I'm telling you? Yeah, you know, one of the quoi. graces that God is going to be imparting upon you tonight. L'une des grâces que Dieu va libérer, libérer sur ta vie ce soir is the healing anointing. C'est une onction de guérison. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there someone with a name? I hope Elizabeth. Y a-t-il quelqu'un du nom de Elizabeth? Like Elizabeth in the Bible. Comme Elizabeth dans la Bible. Is there someone like that? Y a-t-il quelqu'un? I don't know. I'm not the light. I'm not. Je ne sais pas. But in my vision, dans la vision, I'm seeing a lady wearing like green a jacket. Une dame qui a porté comme un vêtement vert. What is her name? Comment vous appelez Elizabeth? What is your name? Comment vous appelez that young lady? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Uh-huh. I want to pray for you. Je veux prier pour vous. There is a lady now who is going to shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone. Il y a une dame qui va crier fort sous l'onction. I want you to bring that lady here now. Et je veux que vous la fassiez venir maintenant. What do you do, my sister? Qu'est-ce que vous faites dans la vie? Okay, one. Well, hold on. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not. That's but is, it, is, that is that your wife? They do the same. Your wife? I want to pray for you. Je veux prier pour vous. I'm looking at your hand. Je regarde vos mains. Je vois vos mains. I'm looking at your hand. Je vois vos mains. And I'm seeing different currencies. Et je vois des devises. I'm seeing seeing dollars. Je vois le dollar. I'm seeing cifres. Je vois I'm seeing pounds. Des devises. Je vois la livre sterling. And I'm seeing them changing hands. Et je les vois changer de main. That's why I'm saying, what does she do? C'est pour cela que je demande qu'est-ce que vous faites. She's a woman of God or a business woman? Vous êtes femme d'affaires ou bien vous êtes homme de euh, femme de you are a business woman. Can I pray for you? Est-ce que je peux prier pour I don't know you. God is just revealing to me. I want to speak to you. Je ne vous connais pas. Dieu me révèle et je veux vous Do you parler. believe? Est-ce que vous croyez that prophecy can enhance progress? Que la, la prophétie peut permettre à vos affaires d'avancer. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Le Fils de Dieu vivant. I speak to you right now. Je vous parle maintenant. In the open and in the presence of God's people. Dans la présence du peuple de Dieu. Go and write it down. Allez et écrivez. In four months. Dans quatre mois. One, two, three, four. Un, deux, trois, quatre. God will change your life in a way that will Dieu surprise you. Dieu va changer votre vie d'une manière qui va vous surprendre.
in the name of Jesus. Oh no, t h e s t a t u e in the name of Jesus. Oh no, t h e s t a t u e We'll be seated shortly. I thought I would be teaching, but I hope I'm not wasting your time. I'm not w a s t i n g your time. I'm not wasting your time. I'm not w a s t i n No. There is a gentleman here, you are into building. Yes, you know me, see, we let our construction. What? Construction. We let our construction. I'm just trying to be careful to make sure that you all understand what I'm saying. Je veux faire attention pour que vous compreniez ce que je dis. A gentleman, you are into construction. Yes, you know, we let our construction. The Lord wants me to pray for you. I, I, I'm not saying you just want to get into this. is something, this is what you do. C'est ce que vous faites. Je ne parle pas de quelqu'un qui veut faire la construction. Quelqu'un qui Make, make sure you don't tell lies. This is the house. Pas of God. Mentir, hein? On est la de And be serious, please. If, you are, serious. if you are not into construction, just sit down, don't worry. I will if pray for you. If you are not into construction, I pray for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I'm still foreigners coming to your nation. Because I'm still foreigners coming to your nation. And they are doing a partnership with that gentleman. And they are doing a partnership with that gentleman. Listen, écoutez. I know that the prophetic has been abused. Je sais que l'on a abusé du prophétique. People have made merchandise out of the prophetic. Les gens ont fait ont commercialisé le prophétique. People have come up with fake prophecies. Des prophéties fausses. People have done all kinds of nonsense. Tout ce chose, tout ce sorte de stupidité. But just because something has been done wrongly. Mais parce que c'est pas parce que quelqu'un fait quelque chose mal. Should not make you believe that there is no power in the prophetic. Que vous devez croire qu'il n'y a pas de puissance dans le prophétic. Are we together? Est-ce qu'on est ensemble? The Bible says, "Believe in the Lord your God." La Bible dit, "Croyez en l'Éternel votre Dieu." So shall you be established. Afin que vous soyez établi. Then it says, "Believe in His prophets." Et puis elle dit, "Croyez en ses prophètes." So shall you prosper. Afin que vous prospériez. I want to pray for those of you who are in construction. Je veux prier pour ceux qui sont dans la construction. You see, voyez-vous? The Bible says, la Bible dit, the race is not to the swift. Que la course n'appartient pas à celui qui est rapide. It says the battle is not to the strong. Mais que la bataille n'appartient pas à celui qui est fort. No bread for them that have wisdom. Ni le pain à celui qui a la sagesse. In truth, I can tell you. À la vérité, je peux vous dire. Except the Lord build a house. Que à si l'Éternel ne bâtit la maison. They labor in vain that build it. Celui qui bâtit bâtit en vain. Except the Lord watches over his city. Si le Éternel ne veille sur la ville, the watchman watches but in vain. Celui qui veille veille en vain. Alleluia. Alleluia. Among all of you who are in front here, parmi tous ceux qui sont ici devant là, the Lord is giving me a sign. Le Seigneur me donne un signe. The power of God is going to come on one of you. La puissance de Dieu va venir sur l'un d'entre vous. When that happens, then I can pray for everybody. Et lorsque cela va se passer, donc je vais prier pour vous tous. This is the sign that the Lord gives me. Et c'est ce signe là que l'Éternel me donne. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Son of the living God. Fils de Dieu vivant. Haratos kalaperes kotabra. I stretch my hand and I decree and declare the kind of favor you have never seen. As I'm praying for them, I'm praying for you too. In the name that is above all names, some of you, even before this year is over, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Ordinary dimensions of results. In a dimension extraordinary of results. Extraordinary dimensions of results. In dimension extraordinary of results. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All doors open. All doors open. All doors. All doors. Not some. Man of God. All doors. Doors of revelation. Doors of influence. Doors of power. All doors. Doors of health, doors of longevity. Are you ready to pray? Whether you are standing or sitting, it does not matter. The most important thing is to pray. Everyone say, Father. Come on, shout it, Ghana. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by your power, all doors open. Go ahead and begin to pray. All doors. All doors. All doors. 
Adike perreke tostiata. Arikat koprende gete peresus diata. All doors open. All doors open. All doors open. By the force of light open. By the force of light open. By the force of prayer open. By the force of favor open. By the force of the prophetic open. I receive. I manifest. Your power. And your wisdom. Till the nations. See Jesus. Lifted up. Exalted. I receive. I manifest. Your power. And your wisdom. Till the nations. See Jesus. Lifted up. Glorified. Go ahead. Over your destiny. All doors. Come on. Please don't be silent. Sabrika parakatos kedea sandalata. Ebrekete beketos kiata. Doors open. For the sake of his majesty. Doors open. Estata. Doors open. Doors open. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are still praying. First Corinthians sixteen and verse nine. Please give it to us. For a great door, and its sexual is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. There are no mountains without giants. No, the door that opens you to destiny will already have giants there it is your ability to sustain the power to dislodge the giants and to prevail are you ready to pray say father by the authority that is in the name of jesus i decree and declare every mountain and every giant stand in my way give way now go ahead and pray give way now Give way now. Give way now. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every time a door is closed. It will slow you down in life and destiny. Now we are going to do this very fast. I hope I don't stretch more than the next 10 minutes or so. But I want you to please participate. We are getting into a very prophetic session now. And I see people right to the back. And let me assure you, no matter how far behind you are, this one, this prayer and praying, you will not escape it in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be holiness, deliverance and holiness. Then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I want to pray. When I came into this place, 
And after sitting down, while the ministration was happening, the Lord opened my eyes. And I saw like stones were put together. And I saw fire coming out of them. And when I saw this, I had in my spirit witchcraft. And this is what I kept hearing. That there are families that have been bound by the covenant of stones. Bound to the earth. Job said, in six things shall he deliver you. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. And that it will not hurt you because you have a leak with the stones. The earth is one of the elements that God gave man dominion over. It should not be used against you. Among the many things you were given dominion over, the five elements of the supernatural, the earth is one of them. That means you should not invoke the powers of the earth and use it against men. The psalmist said, the sun shall not smite you by day. There are powers that depend on these elemental forces. And I want to pray and release someone now. I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. And very quickly, within the next two minutes, those under the anointing, I want you to bring them out here. Please make sure that you maintain, thank God for the protocol so that you don't interrupt our dignitaries. Let's just keep them in a position where they do not interrupt the dignitaries. But I pray for you. For sure, someone's captivity, I, I decree and declare. At the count of three, now listen to the instruction. At the count of three, you are going to shout Jesus three times. Once I pray, then you will say Jesus, Jesus, and by the third time, the power of God will come upon you. Everything that has held you and held your destiny down, if God be God in this place and this night, it must give way. Are you ready? Father, you gave gifts to men and you have anointed us to be channels of deliverance to nations and to territories. I stand before your people, even this beautiful nation of Ghana. There are destinies, there are men who have been held by the power of witchcraft. Kept down so that they do not move. The horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, and against Israel. So that no man will lift up his head. But tonight I come as a carpenter. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. At the count of three, everyone here who is a victim of ancestry, bloodline, witchcraft, orchestrations of that power. He must let you go right now. Can are you ready to shout? In the name of Jesus, after the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Now release your destinies now. Release your destinies now. Release your destinies now. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall upon every manipulation of witchcraft, every orchestration. Parika Please help the ushers. Whether you are an usher or not, bring them out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release your destiny tonight. I open up that door. We are still praying. Hey, Brakatos Kati Brandi Kepata. Give way. Give way. By the Spirit of the Living God. Give way. Who is this King of Glory? He says, The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. I stand as one sent by God. That every force tying down destiny that will not let Ghanaians rise, will not let you die. In the name of Jesus, the captain of our salvation, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hallelujah. We are still praying. The Lord is opening my eyes in the spirit. And I'm seeing the feet of people having chains. Chains. Not the hands, but the feet. And they are unable to move. In the name of Jesus. Everyone under the sound apparatus of my voice that has been held by chains of ancestry. In the name of Jesus. Chains. Break. Chains. Break. Chains. Break. Chains. Break. In the 
name of Jesus. Change break. Change break over destinies. Change break over families. Change break over businesses. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me that there are families that no matter how educated they are, the doors of employment never comes. So you find people within that family, but doors are not opening. I stand here tonight by the spirit of grace and prophecy. I don't know who that person is, but I declare that door opens for you now. Just hold him and hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the spirit of untimely death. The spirit of untimely death. Ah, there are families here. Every year someone must die. Patterns of death have been sent by the spirit. I want to declare now, anyone here that the hand of death is upon, that you will not enter 2024 by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Oh, death, where is your sting? And oh, grave, where is your victory? Ah. The Lord is asking me to do something very prophetic. For these groups of people, you don't have to bring them out. There are prophetic intercessors. Hold that gentleman and just keep him there. There are prophetic intercessors. Hear me. Men and women who will begin to rise from Ghana. Prayer groups. Prayer cells. People with mantles that will pray the program of God. Not everybody. Women who understand the art of the altar and men who can pray. I don't know who that person is, but I stretch my hands from here. May that mantle of a prophetic intercessor right now let it fall upon you. Parakatos theater, help them. Let it fall upon you. I release upon you the mantle of a watchman, the mantle of an intercessor, the grace to stand upon your watch. In the name of Jesus, over territory. In the name of Jesus. Now let me pray for those who are out here. Father, every one of these precious people who are out here, it is because you are delivering them from yokes of darkness. Delivering their families. This is why they came. Therefore, I decree and declare that every legal access that the devil has by the blood right now, this moment, that legal access is hereby broken. 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 Release their families now. Release their destinies now. In the name of Jesus. I speak to you by the spirit of grace that the calamities and the pharaohs, the captivities that you have seen before now, you will see them no more forever. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are strong enough can get up and return to their seats rejoicing. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. Hear me. I hear in my spirit strengthen the weary. This is particularly to men and women of God in ministry. I sense in my spirit that there are men and women of God who are here, but they are weary. It looks like serving God does not seem to have any advantage again. And some of you are about to give up. The Lord is sending me to speak to you by the Spirit. Please hear me. I want you to know that the Bible says there is hope for a tree, even if it be cut off. It said, at the scent of water. At the scent of water. I'm speaking to a man of God. You have come too far to give up. You may have walked in error, but the key is not living ministry. The key is having some time with Jesus. A reconsecration again. And to begin your work with Jesus with authenticity and genuineness. For some, you may need to dissociate yourself from wrong, ungodly associations. But God is giving you a new beginning. By all means. A new beginning. Let me pray for those who are sick. You don't have to come out. At, we're out of time because we need to pray on the request. And then I speak over you and I'm done. But if you are sick in your body, that includes those following online. I want you to lay your hands this moment. Lay your hands. Believe in the Jesus that heals. I want to pray for you right now. Right to the back, the left to the right, everywhere across this beautiful auditorium or this beautiful theater, this, this, this outdoor construction. And for those who are following online, Jesus is giving you an opportunity. Lay your hands. Go ahead. You are trusting God for a healing miracle. Jesus wants to heal you right now. There are people who do not believe in the healing ministry. Perhaps because of some of the things that have happened around. But I want to assure you by the spirit of grace that Jesus still heals. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And he's about to heal someone now. Place your hand if it's your chest, lay your hands there. If it's your head, lay your hands there. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. I'm about to pray for you right now. And someone following from your home, your office, wherever it is, you are trusting Jesus for a miracle. He wants to come to you now as the great physician, even the healer. In the name of Jesus. I want you to agree with me shouting a loud Amen as I begin to pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray right now over this beautiful nation of Ghana, over your people, here represented and many who are following by way of television and internet. It is your desire to see your people healed, agile, healthy, and many have sadly been plagued by sicknesses, diseases, and infirmities. But I come in the name of Jesus tonight. For the Bible says how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. I rebuke every spirit that is back of infirmity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be healed now. Be healed now. I bring you life and healing now. Migraine headaches be healed. Cancer be healed. HIV be healed. Blood conditions be healed. Any failed organs in your body, your heart, your kidney, your liver, in the name of Jesus be healed now. 
eye conditions be healed ear conditions be healed you are here and you came with a crutch or whatever it is you cannot walk begin to check yourself now in the name of Jesus Christ I speak life to your bones by the power that raised Christ from the dead life to your bones by the power that raised Christ from the dead life to your hands life to your limbs in the name of Jesus I rebuke rheumatoid arthritis in the name of Jesus ulcers be healed now in the name of Jesus there is someone you have like a swelling around the groin area this is what the Lord is showing me right now the power of the Holy Spirit is touching you bringing you life and bringing you healing the Lord is showing me a lady you have this is not just a lump but it looks like you can literally feel a big mass around the left side of your breast in the name of Jesus as I pray for you now may that devil leave your body now fibroids and all kinds of growth I command that they die now prostrate cancer I call you by name and I curse you by the God of heaven there's someone you have a problem is a problem that affects your entire respiratory system this is what God is showing me particularly your ability to inhale air you have a problem I don't know what that problem is medically but in the name of Jesus I'm speaking to you right now may the power of God touch you right where you are 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 in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone you have a severe pain around your shoulder around your shoulder the power of the Holy Spirit is touching you right now bringing you life and bringing you healing in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God be healed now shout a louder Amen Ghana be healed now Can we pray over the request now? Philippians chapter 4. Has everyone submitted their request? Who is yet to submit their request? Hallelujah. I want us to pray. Philippians chapter 4, please give us verse 6. The Bible says, Be anxious for nothing. The word careful there is the word anxious. I'm about to pray now. He says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. He says, let your request, the request for a job, the request for peace in your home, the request for that which you seek that the Lord does for you, let your request be made known unto God. You have made it known unto men. You have made it known even unto naysayers. But the assignment is that you make your request known unto God. I'm about to pray. I am a testament of answered prayer. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I'm waiting just a few more minutes so that we do not stretch ourselves beyond necessary. But the God of heaven is about to arise. Your prayer request is the most accurate representation of your desires. Even if I prophesy to you, we see in part. And we are limited by that which we cannot see. But this is that which you wrote by yourself. Some of you have written impossible situations here. I want to pray for you. There is a God that answers prayer. God is not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he should repent. If he says it, it is within his power to make it happen. I'm about to pray now. May I request that you stretch your hands towards the ark as a sign, a point of contact while I call upon the God that answers by fire.
right. I pray now. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known. Reveal the glory of the reason. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known. Reveal the glory of the reason, Lord. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. 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 I'm hearing in my spirit the book of remembrance is opening. The book of remembrance is opening. The book of remembrance. People who have forgotten you. In the name of Jesus, we are praying already. Just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out again. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, you have granted us grace and mercy to be stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom. You have granted us the privilege of the apostleship and the grace to speak over nations and over destinies and territories. Father, I stretch my hands over this that represents the pain of your people, this that represents their frustrations, this that represents their predicaments, their calamities. That which has become an impedance to their advancement. The Bible says, and this is the confidence that we have, that when we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Therefore, Father, I pray upon this request, let the fire fall. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. That every prayer request here represented. May it be turned to testimonies this moment. Come on shout amen. May it be turned to testimonies this moment. Can I prophesy over this? That this Egyptian should see today. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. Hear me. Every helper of destiny. Who must come under divine alignment. To make for the answers of these prayers. Wherever they are across Ghana, I prophesy to the north, the south, the east and the west of Ghana. I gravitate your helpers towards your destiny. Cases of marriage and family life, receive answers now. Cases of finances, debt, receive answers now. Cases of career, destiny, ambition, receive answers now. Cases of ministry, receive answers now. Cases of health, receive answers now. Cases of oppression, receive answers now. Legal matters, receive answers now. Provided it found its way into this act. I agree with the God of heaven. The same hand that wrote this request, may it be the same hand that received the answers one by one by one by one. Hallelujah. Can I speak over your life now? Prophecy is powerful. 
in the name that is above all names to my left and to my right to the front and to the back I stand as one sent by God and I decree and declare every door that has been closed over your destiny provided it is called a door I cry to the God of my covenant at this moment I command that that door opens now hear me by reason of your coming to this place any man that fights you goes down instantly pastors apostles prophets great men in ministry by the spirit of the living god may a thousand cubits be measured for you in the spirit greater dimensions of exploit in the name of jesus exploits of salvation exploits of transformation exploits of rebuilding broken walls after the order of nehemiah in the name of jesus christ can i pray for businessmen in ghana my bible says when men say there is a casting down i speak to every one business person here in the name that is above all names between now and the next three months i call upon my god who is also your god may he open strange doors for you may he open strange doors for you in the name of jesus christ can i pray for students can i pray for students father upon the campuses in ghana alongside their intellectual advancement let the fire of revival fall upon the campuses let the fire of revival fall upon the campuses let mighty men and women arise by the spirit in the name of jesus now hear me the spirit that destroys families tearing father and mother apart tearing children apart tearing family life and structure apart i decree and declare to that spirit we banish you out of ghana in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare that from today we measure the entire circumference of the nation of Ghana and we declare it is a no-go area for you from tonight I don't know what you have lost some of you have lost time some of you have lost things some of you have lost relationships some of you have lost opportunities but I call upon the God who restores in the name of Jesus I shout by the Spirit, restore. 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 Do you believe in the favor of God? In a way you have never seen, in a way you may have never experienced, if it is true that what I taught you is not a lie and it is not deception I call upon my God the mantle of favor that you have never seen in your life may it rest upon you now may it rest upon you now may it rest upon you now I understand there are other churches aside from Action Chapel that are here gathered this meeting is beyond just Action Chapel it is a meeting for the body of Christ in Ghana therefore I speak every spirit that wants to destroy the power and the strength of the body of Christ over Ghana I stand as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ and I decree and declare Father fresh fire upon the church in Ghana authentic spirituality with character with integrity and with grace I pray for all the wounded servants of God in Ghana the grace to come back the grace to bounce back I pray for all those who are standing around the corridors of compromise the grace to be restored to authenticity in the spirit in the name of Jesus 
My final prayer for Ghana. My final prayer for Ghana. Father, this is a land and this is a nation that loves you and calls upon your name. I am praying in the name of Jesus that no generation will arise from Ghana that rejects Jesus. Listen to what I'm saying. Parents, listen to this. May it never be that in your lifetime you will see a generation arise that will corporately push Jesus out of Ghana. I am a respecter of all faith. I have friends that are Muslims. I have friends that have other faith practices. I respect people. I respect whatever faith orientation. But I have an assignment by God. I am an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore I decree again by the Spirit of the living God. May there be no generation in Ghana that will arise and reject Jesus Christ. Hear me. The spirit of irresponsibility that wants to tie the young men down so that they are not productive, wasting their lives away. I decree and declare we banish that spirit from Ghana. Shout aloud, Amen. Ghana, your sons will not be armed robbers. Your sons will not be corrupt people. I pray for the daughters in Ghana. May they rise with the strength of Deborah. They will not be prostitutes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Since we have people who are heads of government here, please let me and let me speak over the government in Ghana. I declare the blessings of the Lord over the government in Ghana. All the arms of government, the wisdom and the grace to administer justice and to do that which is needful, that leads this nation to her heaven. I prophesy it upon you, the grace upon the leaders, from the presidency to your members of parliament, down to the least cadre. Receive grace and wisdom in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for tonight. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that every prophetic declaration, by the way, the mantle and the grace needed for the next level of your spiritual adventure, whether it is prophetic, whether it is apostolic, whether it is entrepreneurial, in the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Two more functions and I'm done. The greatest miracle that can happen to this, in this place tonight, beyond healing, beyond deliverance, beyond transformation by the word, is the salvation of your soul. Please hear me, ladies and gentlemen, in order of divine priority, God's mandate, even for this program, is to see to it that among the thousands of people here gathered and the many more following online, that everybody has a chance to make Jesus Lord of their lives. I want to take one minute from my time that is left to make a very desperate call from a sincere heart that loves you truly and passionately. You are in this place, right to the back as far as my eyes can see, and you have never made a genuine decision for Jesus. Perhaps you've even attended all the days and yet the Spirit of God, whilst I was speaking, is convicting you that now is the time to make it right with Jesus. Wherever you are, I'm going to make two calls in one. You are saying, Apostle, if you give me an opportunity, I will rush to come and make it right with Jesus. Or you are saying, I remember making this call before, but right now as it is, my life has gone haywire. I need restoration and rededication. I'm going to count one to five wherever you are. Many of you will be coming from a very far distance. I want you to run, literally run, and come and make your way to the front. Do not wait for anyone to come before you start coming. As soon as I begin my counting one to five, tonight is the night of salvation. The door himself is calling you. The Bible says, I am the way, the door speaking. I am the truth and I am the life. It says, no man cometh to the Father except by me. I begin my counting now. At the end of the fifth count, 
Then I pray. Wherever you are, please don't kneel. Stand so that there will be space. Are you ready now? Let's celebrate them as they come. One. Two. Don't sit back when the Spirit of the Lord is convicting you. This is a new day. Ghana, are you celebrating salvation? Three. Someone is running to Jesus. Someone is rushing from the back. You have given things of lesser value. Your life, your time, your dedication and your commitment. Jesus calls you. Come. Come. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. Because this God is too good. Oh. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. Because this God is too good. Oh. You're joining them. You have 10 more seconds. Come. Come. Jesus is worth your dedication, worth your commitment. This is what this is all about. I'm the apple of his eyes, the thought that fills his heart every morning, noon, and night. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hear me. With all due respect, let me speak to men and women of God here. Never cheapen and downplay salvation. Never exalt miracles above salvation. Never exalt prophecy above soul winning. Never exalt giving above soul winning. In order of divine priority, the greatest miracle, the greatest expression of love for Jesus is to see souls saved. Everybody Jesus healed still died. Everybody Jesus delivered still died. What gives you access to life eternal is not healing, it's not deliverance, it's not money, it's not breakthrough, it's not ambition. It is Jesus. Perhaps this is a prophetic word for someone, a great sincere man of God. You may need to revisit the issue of having a genuine passion for the lost. We live in a world where we have cheapened the whole idea of salvation. If miracles happen here and no soul is saved, we still say it was a great meeting. No. The measure of greatness in the spirit is the degree to which many eventually... This is why he gives grace for the miraculous. Every other manifestation of the spirit should eventually lead men to the cross, even to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for summoning the courage to come and stand before Jesus in the presence of your entire beautiful and lovely nation. Here's what my Bible says. As many who will come to him, that he will in no wise cast it away. God laid it in the hand, in the heart of his eminence, to put forth this prophetic convocation and look the harvest that has come. Because of one man's obedience to Jesus. To Jesus. Someday we will be in heaven. And when I turn to my left or my right, I will see someone smiling at me and say, But I do not know you. And he will say, You do not need to know me. The only thing you will tell me is, I am so glad you came. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am a light that was changed. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am so glad you came. Before I pray for these people, I want to say thank you to every sincere and every true man of God and woman of God that has labored 
and continue to labor in the nation of Ghana for the gospel. Seen and unseen, on air, on TV, or otherwise, leading a crowd of people or leading a few people, the church is the light in any nation. And I want to tender my salutations even on behalf of Jesus, the captain of our salvation, for the one person who prayed and still prays, for the one person who gave and still gives, for the one person who invited members to church and continues to invite, for the intercessors that may never be seen, who pray day and night that his program comes to pass, for the ministers who labor day and night, shelving away their own pain, to see that the program of God does not fail. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord honor you. In the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, please lift your right hand high above your head. Say this after me. Before Jesus, the one whom you stand before. Not Joshua Selman. The one who is greater. The one who called us. Say Jesus. Tonight, I declare that I love you with all my heart. I declare that you are the son of the living God. I declare that you are my king. You are my savior. You are my Lord. From tonight and forever, I declare my life is yours. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Father, thank you for these blessed people who have come declaring your Lordship over their lives. I pray in the name of Jesus that the grace that keeps, may that grace keep them. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God and I declare over you that from tonight you go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share, and subscribe. Thank you.